Dear learners, today's topic of discussion is alkaloid, one of the important secondary metabolites. After completing this discussion, you will be able to define alkaloids, list properties of alkaloid, classify alkaloids, and find chemical test for alkaloids. The history of use of alkaloid as a drug or uh, other purposes uh, as old as human civilization. However, the French apothecary Darson first isolated alkaloid afterwards known as narcotin in 1803 and German pharmacist or apothecary Frederick Wilhelm Schartuner a further investigated opium and isolated morphine in 1806. The term alkaloid was coined by Karl Mischner in 1819. Actually, the etymology of this term is from the, the Arabian and Latin word al quahli which denotes the uh, soda ash or sodium carbonate. Alkaloids means the alkali like. After the isolation of uh, morphine, uh, French researchers like uh, P. Peltier and uh, Joseph Coventu, who discovered quinine in 1820 and uh, strychnine in 1818, and other series of alkaloids. Now, what are alkaloids? Alkaloids are secondary metabolite. However, the precise def definition of the term alkaloid is somewhat difficult because there is no boundary between the alkaloids and naturally occurring complex amine. So, we can define alkaloid as these are the secondary metabolite derived from the plant sources. They are basic in nature. They contain one or more nitrogen. Very important, one or more nitrogen's presence is important for this alkaloid definition. Atom and usually in a heterocyclic ring. So true alkaloids uh, should contain the nitrogen in heterocyclic ring structure. And they usually have a marked physiological action on man or uh, human or other animals. This is the basic definition of alkaloid. There are some exception of the above definitions can be observed. Uh, just like ephedrine contain nitrogen, which is not present in the cyclic form. So uh, similarly, colchicines are not basic in nature. So these are under the category of proto or amino alkaloid. Alkaloid is not only obtained from the plant sources, but that is also found in uh, animal sources. For example, indole alkaloid, Bufotenin is found in plant Piptodenia uh, peregrina, also found in animal uh, toad Bufo vulgaris, and also found in uh, fungi Amanitis mappa. Now, what are the properties of alkaloid? Alkaloids are colorless crystalline solid. They are slightly soluble in water. However, caffeine is um, totally soluble in water, but soluble in organic solvents. Although few alkaloids uh, like quinine and nicotine, they are not solid. They are liquid in nature. And some alkaloids are colored like barberin, yellow in color. Most of the alkaloids are basic in nature. That is due to the availability of the lone pair of electron on the nitrogen. With acids, basically they are chemically base in nature, with acids alkaloid forms salt, which is soluble in water, but sparingly uh, soluble in organic solvent. So sol salt are soluble in water. In presence of base, if we add uh, in uh, a strong base solution um, in, in uh, alkaloid, the free basis of alkaloids will be precipitated in aqueous medium. So if we take a powder drug and we, if we shock it in the strong base, that will precipitate 
the uh, free base of alkaloid. Similarly, salt derived from the strong base and weak acid like sodium citrate, uh, sodium acetate uh, will precipitate alkaloids. Now let's see the classification of alkaloids. Uh, we can classify alkaloid in different ways, uh, pharmacological classification, taxonomic classification, biosynthetic classification and chemical classification. Depending upon the physiological response, alkaloids are pharmacologically classified under various categories like CNS stimulant, depressant, sympathomimetic, analgesic, antidiarrheal, uh, myotics. Uh, so, these are uh, antitussive. For example, morphine is narcotic analgesic and codeine is antitussive. Uh, taxonomically, we can classify a vast number of alkaloids on their distribution in various plant families like Solanaceous uh, family plant contains tropane alkaloids. Uh, biosynthetic classification is another mode of classification. This method gives the significance to the precursor from which the alkaloids are derived. Alkaloids are basically derived from the amino acids. So, depending upon the nature of the amino acids, uh, we can group together. So, for example, all indole alkaloids derived from the tryptophan are grouped together. But most uh, important classification, that is the chemical classification, which mainly um, uh, depends upon the uh, heterocyclic ring nature present in alkaloids. And basically, two broad divisions we observe whether the, the alkaloid contains heterocyclic or true alkaloid ring so that are known as true or typical alkaloids or if the heterocyclic ring is absent but nitrogen is present that are under the proto alkaloids or sometimes we call it biological amines. So, one of the important uh, parameters of alkaloids regarding the nomenclature of the alkaloids, alkaloid should ends with I-N-E. The suffix INE should be present in the term alkaloid. And now let's see the true alkaloids classification depending upon the nature of the uh, ring present in the structure. So, uh, basically, pyrrole and pyrrolidine is one of the important group of alkaloids. The examples are hygrine and nicotine. Pyridine and piperidine is another group of alkaloid. The examples are lobelin and ricinin. Tropane is very important alkaloid, several alkaloids under this group. Uh, examples are atropine, hyoscine, hyoscyamine. Uh, quinoline alkaloids, uh, here you can see the structure of quinoline. Um, that uh, heterocyclic ring present in the quinine, quinidine alkaloid. Shinkona alkaloids are basically uh, contains this quinoline structure. Isoquinoline alkaloids, here you can see the isoquinoline structure. Uh, are generally uh, example of the isoquinoline alkaloids are the papaverin, narcotine, these are obtained from the opium. Indole alkaloids uh, are example of indole alkaloids, uh, vincristine, vinblastine, resofine. Imidazole alkaloids examples are pilocarpine. Purine alkaloid, it is a special class of alkaloid. Examples are caffeine and steroidal alkaloid. Examples are conicine or solanidine. Uh, proto alkaloids or amino alkaloids. Examples are colchicine, ephedrine. Finally, we will discuss about the chemical test for alkaloids. Most common chemical tests are depending upon the uh, precipitation on addition of different uh, chemical reagent to the alkaloid containing drug or extract. And first test is Wegener reagent, Wegener test. Wegener reagent is none other than a solution of 1.27 gram of uh, iodine and 2 gram of potassium iodine, iodide in uh, 5 ml of water. Then make up the volume up to 100 ml with distilled water, uh, so that is Wegener's reagent. 
with alkaloids it shows reddish brown precipitate second reagent is drag and drops reagent which is chemically potassium uh, bismuth iodide which basically consists of uh, sodium iodide, basic bismuth carbonate and glacial acetic acid. Uh, after boiling, uh, that should be uh, stand for overnight and filter of the precipitate of sodium acetate crystal uh, to 40 ml of the red brown filtrate and 160 ml of acetate in 1 ml water and preserve this stock solution in amber color bottle when needed add 20 ml of acetic acid to 10 ml of this stock solution and make up up to 100 ml of with water so this is basically a um, chemical that is prepared uh, reagent prepared uh, by the chemicals like sodium iodide bismuth carbonate and glacial acetic acid and drag and drops um, reagent or potassium bismuth iodide gives orange precipitate orange brown precipitate to alkaloid containing drug Mears reagent is um, basically uh, prepared uh, prepared by uh, dissolving 1.36 um, gram of uh, mercury chloride in 60 ml distilled water and add um, that thing is added to uh, a solution of 5 gram of potassium iodide in 20 ml distilled water and the volume will um, make up uh, up to um, 100 ml so basically Mayer's reagents uh, are potassium mercuric iodide which gives the cream precipitate and saturated picric acid solutions or a Hager reagent Hager's reagent gives yellow precipitate and another test is applicable only for the purine alkaloids like caffeine um, so here the test is known as murexite test so drug crystal or powder is taken in a white uh, uh, porcelain dish a few crystal of uh, drug or the powder is taken in a white porcelain dish and um, three drops of uh, nitric acids added and evaporated to dryness then on addition of two to three drops of ammonium hydroxide it imparts a purple color so these are the very common test for uh, the identification preliminary identification of the alkaloids thank you and happy learning